This is not the view you want when navigating the Suez Canal. A giant container ship wedged from bank to bank, blocking one of the world's most important shipping lanes. The 400 metre long Ever Given got stuck on Tuesday morning, running aground in high winds reportedly after a power failure on board. A fleet of tugboats has been trying to refloat the mega ship ever since, while a digger, tiny by comparison, tries to extricate her bow from the eastern bank. They would be trying to remove anything that is easy to remove, but the location where they're stuck is actually quite, you know, it's, 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 it's not near a port. It is actually quite a distance away from anything. And this is where um, the clear option is lots and lots of tugboats and digging around the side. 12% of global trade passes through the canal in Egypt between the Red Sea and the Mediterranean, goods passing between Europe and Asia without having to round Africa. The Ever Given's mishap temporarily closed a route that's used by 50 large ships every day. With the canal blocked, scores of vessels were left waiting in maritime traffic jams at either end. This was the picture at 1600 hours GMT on Wednesday. As tankers queued, oil prices rose. The blockage another blow to global trade disrupted by Covid. Millions of tonnes of oil, millions of tonnes of manufactured goods, you know, millions of containers, oh, hundreds, thousands of containers are going through the canal um, in, in any given week. And so a prolonged closure would mean that there would be ships stacking up both in the Mediterranean and in the Red Sea, and essentially at anchor, riding at anchor, waiting for the canal to open. The canal was twice closed by war in the 20th century. The Suez Crisis in 1956 and the 1967 Arab-Israeli war blockades hastened the development of ever larger ships. Experienced navigators say even in peacetime it is a challenging route. It's exhausting. It's a very long, it's a 16 to 19 hour transition, trans, transit um, with a lot of preparations either end. Once you're in the canal, it's relatively straightforward. It's a bit like going through a tunnel, perhaps, but the entrance and the exit are the problems. It remains unclear if and when the Ever Given will be refloated and able to move. Every delay, a reminder that turning round a supertanker really is a slow job. Paul Kelso, Sky News.